Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use some of the components from Eligo's Super Starter Kit to create this project that uses an ultrasonic sensor to measure distances and those distances will be displayed on this LCD panel. So here's how it works. If I take a, a piece of cardboard and set it a certain distance away from the sensor then that distance will be measured and displayed on the LCD. In order to make this project, you're going to need a couple components from the Super Starter Kit. As you can see, I've got the uh, ultrasonic sensor, a bunch of wires, the LCD display, the breadboard, of course the Uno R3 board, a power cable, a computer, and on my computer I have downloaded the Arduino software and I have the code that will operate this project. And um, that code will be provided for you in the description below along with um, some written instructions on how to wire this up. But in this video I'm going to take you through uh, a quick kind of tutorial of, of how to wire this up. Um, and first I'm just going to kind of get on my close-up lens because all of these things are pretty small and hard to see. So there we go. Now we can see everything up close. Alright, so let's start with uh, the ultrasonic sensor here. And uh, I chose to plug the four pins of the ultrasonic sensor into uh, column A on the breadboard and it's specifically it's, it's uh, the slots A60, A61, A62, and A63. So behind the sensor we have a red wire going from slot D60 to the positive rail. We have a black wire going from slot D63 to the negative rail. And then in between I used two yellow wires. I have a yellow wire running from slot D61 all the way to the UNO board and that goes into slot 13. Now the other yellow wire goes from slot D62 into the UNO board in slot 12 on the digital side. So that's the wiring for the ultrasonic sensor. Next let's talk about the LCD panel. So the LCD panel has 16 pins and uh, they come out on the underside of the board. Um, so those pins, 1 through 16, they can be plugged into slots F1 through F16 on the breadboard. And then, and then over here we've got a whole bunch of wires that uh, power and operate the LCD. So let's talk about those. So first, in slot J1, trying to get it to focus for you. Alright, so in slot J1 I have a black wire from J1 to the negative rail. In slot J2 I have a red wire going from J2 to the positive rail. In slot J3 I have a black wire going to the negative rail. In slot J4, I have a yellow wire going from J4 to slot 11 on the UNO board. Then I have another yellow wire going from slot J5 on the breadboard to slot 10 on the UNO board. I have a third yellow wire going from slot J6 to slot 9 on the UNO board. Here it is here. Then a few slots are skipped. Slots uh, J7, J8, J9, and J10. And then J11 I used an orange wire. That orange wire from J11 connects to slot 2 on the UNO board. 
Here it is here, all the way on the end. An orange wire goes from J12 to slot three on the UNO board. And then an orange wire from J13 goes to slot four on the UNO board. And then uh, J, uh, J14, an orange wire, goes to slot 5 on the UNO board. In slot J15, I have a red wire that goes from J15 to the positive rail. And then in uh, J16, I have a black wire that goes from J16 to the negative rail. And then uh, on the UNO board, I have a red wire that goes from the 3.3 .3 volt slot to the positive rail. And I have a black wire that goes from the ground slot on the UNO board to the negative rail. All right, so that's the wiring setup for the ultrasonic sensor with LCD readout. Um, in the next steps, I'm going to show you how to upload the code, um, and we'll go from there. All right, so now that you have everything all wired up, it's time to uh, get into the code and get this thing programmed. So make sure your project is plugged into your computer, open up your Arduino software, and uh, what you'll want to do is you'll want to uh, copy the code that I provided under the, the YouTube video in the description. And then in your software, start a new file. Go ahead and delete any information that pops up in that new file. And then you're going to paste the code that you copied. Now, all you, all you should need to do is just uh, click on the arrow here to upload. Oh, you know what, I think it's going to ask me to save the file, so uh, I'll probably have to do that. Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and save this here. I'll use the file name that they auto-generated. All right, and now it looks like it was uploading. Um, let's take a look at the project now, and uh, yep, it looks like it is working, and it looks like it is trying to figure out how far away I am from the sensor. I'm going to stick my hand in front of the sensor here and move it back. And there we go. All right, so uh, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoy these projects. And uh, please take the time to subscribe to my channel so I can keep providing new project ideas for your Arduino and your Eligo kits. And um, make sure you like this video. Thanks for watching.